Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with something from NVIDIA that they've been teasing us about for a few weeks now. Folks were wondering what exactly is NVIDIA's new Super? Well, rumors and speculation were that it was a new line of graphics cards, and those rumors were pretty much on target because today we have two out of a trio of new Founders Edition cards from NVIDIA, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super. We're getting an RTX 2060 80 Super in later this month. We'll circle back on that. But today, let's unbox these, plug them in, and give you a quick guided review of what these cards are all about. Next. So here we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super. The boxes are very similar, except for their monikers in the top and front, which call out their model numbers thusly. I've gone ahead and cut the tape on each side of the box so as not to bore you with that procedure. Let's go ahead and lift the top here to expose the surprise inside. That is the 2070 Super in its static bag, and here comes the 2060 Super in its static bag. Let's go ahead and free them from their perch. First, the GeForce RTX 2070 Super. That delightful static bag crunch we all know and love so well. And the smell of fresh electronics. Love it. Almost slid out of the bag there. That would have been tragic. Here you go. The GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Dig that mirror finish. So yeah, best to keep uh, microfiber cloth at the ready to keep baby clean and shiny. Do love that double wide shine though. And I tell you what, what else is double wide about this card? Or interestingly enough, it's actually an identical design to a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. So a little bit longer PCB, dual axial fans. On the top edge, you've got an eight pin PCI Express power connector and a six pin PCI Express power connector now. And the IO configuration on this card is now like an RTX 2080 as well, where the 2070 used to have a dual link DVI connector. Instead, we've got three display ports as well as an HDMI 2.0 port. And of course, the USB-C based proprietary NVIDIA virtual link connector for VR setups. But um, taking a walk around this card, it is basically an identical layout to an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. And in actuality, it also employs the same GPU as a GeForce RTX 2080 as well, and that's NVIDIA's Turing TU-104 versus the Turing TU-106 GPU on the original RTX 2070. And what do we have here on the RTX 2070 Super Founders Edition card? Let's go ahead and pull that plug right there, and yep, that is, in fact, an NV-Link multi-GPU connector on top of the board edge of the RTX 2070 Super Founders Edition. NVIDIA obviously decided to bring this in, add this in. It was not previously available on the RTX 2070 standard Founders Edition cards. But not to be outdone, let's move the 2070 Super to the background and the 2060 Super to the foreground here. Pull that little fella out of its throne there and uh, pop the static bag as well. Also smells delightfully electronic. Discard said plastic. Again, oops, we've got some, I did this on the first one. I cheated. We got a little protective coating over that mirror finish on the RTX 2060. Uh, there you go. There's uh, the RTX 2060 Super dual axial fans as well. A little shorter card, that PCI Express 6-pin power connector here on the back edge, just like the traditional RTX 2060 Founders Edition. But this is the Super, again, sporting that mirror shine. Top edge of the card here, you can see the heatsink runs the entire length of the PCB. Let's go in the back here and check out the logo. RTX 2060 Super. That's how you know it's Super. It's got the Super logo, don't you know? And then here we are looking at an identical configuration to a traditional RTX 2060 
dual display port ports hdmi 2.0 dual link dvi port and of course that usb-c virtual link port so there you have it the geforce rtx 2060 super keep it clean keep it clean that mirror finish could take care of baby and inside the box you do get various literature items including a quick start guide and support guide and with the rtx 2070 super only you get this display port to dual link dvi adapter cable since the card does not have a dual link dvi connector itself on the rtx 2060 super you do get a dual link dvi connector so you won't need that cable now before we plug these in let's talk some quick specs let's start with the geforce rtx 2060 super compared to the standard rtx 2060 the founders edition geforce rtx 2060 super has four additional sms or streaming multiprocessors at 34 versus just 30 in the standard card along with 2176 cuda cores versus 1920 in the standard 2060. The 2060 Super also brings 136 texture units over the standard cards 120. In addition, the GPU based and boost clocks are also goosed a bit at 1470 megahertz base, 1650 megahertz boost versus the 1365 megahertz base clock, but slightly higher boost clock of 1680 megahertz for the standard RTX 2060 non Super Founders Edition card. However, the RTX 2060 Super Super's memory interface is wider at 256 bit, like the RTX 2070 or 2080, versus the standard 2060's 192 bit interface. And on that GDDR6 interface resides an additional 2 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory for a full 8 gigabytes total. Total memory bandwidth at the same 14 gigabit per second memory data rate has thus been increased to 448 gigabytes per second, which is a nice lift over the standard RTX 2060 at 336 gigabytes per second. There's also a few hundred KB more L1 cache on board, and board power is now 175 watts for the RTX 2060 Super Founders Edition versus 160 watts for the standard RTX 2060. The GeForce RTX 2070 Super is a bit more straightforward. There are an additional four SMs on board the 2070 Super, 40 in total, where the standard RTX 2070 has just 36. CUDA core count is now 2560 versus 2304 in the standard card, and both base and boost clock are cranked up to 1605 megahertz and 1770 megahertz respectively versus 1410 and 1620 on the standard card for a sizable speed bump overall. You also get 184 texture units with the 2070 Super where the standard card has just 144 along with a few hundred more KBL1 cache for the Super card again. Board power cranks up to 215 watts for the RTX 2070 Super up from 175 for the standard edition 2070. What this all means is that a GeForce RTX 2060 Super should perform within striking distance of a standard RTX 2070 and NVIDIA claims about 15 to 22 percent faster than a standard RTX 2060. Meanwhile, a GeForce RTX 2070 Super should deliver closer to standard GeForce RTX 2080 performance, and NVIDIA claims up to 16 to 24 percent faster than a standard 2070 card. But how does this shake out in a few real world benchmarks? Let's take a quick look. First, let's take a look at Far Cry New Dawn, the narrative sequel to Far Cry 5, set in a post nuclear apocalyptic Montana open world environment with a lush and very colorful DX12 game engine that supports cutting edge visuals and high fidelity. As expected, the RTX 2060 Super slots in above the standard RTX 2060 with nearly a 10% lead and right alongside the Radeon 7 at 1440p resolution. The RTX 2070 Super squeaks in just behind the RTX 2080, but only about 5% ahead of the standard RTX 2070. Crank things up to 4K and things spread out a bit, however, with the 2070 Super over 10% faster than its non-Super brethren and the RTX 2060 Super a full 20% faster than a standard RTX 2060. Note the delta at the top end at 4K, however, where the 2070 Super falls in about 10% behind the RTX 2080 
and the Radeon 7. Next, we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the most recent installment of the third-person perspective action-adventure game starring heroine Lara Croft and equally impressive DX12 visuals. At 1440p, the RTX 2060 Super delivers sizable gains north of 18% over a standard RTX 2060 and just behind a standard RTX 2070. Meanwhile, the RTX 2070 Super racks up a hair over 10% gains versus the standard RTX 2070 and about on par with a Radeon 7. Taking things up to 4K, and the deltas are about the same for the RTX 2070 Super, but the RTX 2060 Super chocks up even a smidge more performance with a full 20% lead over a standard 2060 card. And finally, let's fire up some real-time ray tracing infused benchmarking with the all-new 3DMark Port Royale benchmark. UL Benchmarks notes that 3DMark Port Royale was developed with input from AMD, NVIDIA, Intel, Microsoft, and other leading-edge technology companies. Port Royale will run on any DX12 graphics card with drivers that support DirectX ray tracing, but as of today, AMD does not support it in their driver, so here we just have GeForce RTX GPUs to show you. We should underscore that Port Royale is designed to be a GPU buster of a benchmark, employing ray tracing for specular reflections and pixel-perfect hard shadows, as well as dynamic global illumination, components of which employ ray tracing and traditional rasterization techniques. Looking at the scores and frame rates, the RTX 2070 Super is about 11% faster than a standard RTX 2070 and within a few percentage points of an RTX 2080. Meanwhile, the RTX 2060 Super is about 23% faster than a standard RTX 2060 in this test, and a significant gain on the lower end of NVIDIA's GeForce RTX GPU cost curve. Speaking of which, from a pricing standpoint, things are shaping up nicely with the RTX 2060 Super Founders Edition cards priced at $399 MSRP, which is roughly $50 more than the standard 2060 Founders Edition cards when they launched, and it's worth the price premium if you look at the performance numbers again. Meanwhile, the GeForce RTX 2070 Super will be priced at $499, which puts it at the exact same MSRP for the RTX 2070 standard Founders Edition card when it launched. And finally, the forthcoming RTX 2080 Super will be priced at $699 for the Founders Edition card when it debuts later this month, which is about as low as you'll find a standard GeForce RTX 2080 on the market today. So it seems Nvidia is thankfully pricing the lineup more aggressively all around as well. Incidentally, as you might expect, the standard RTX 2060 will stay in NVIDIA's product stack, while the RTX 2070 and 2080 will go away eventually when retail channel inventory dries up to be superseded by their super counterparts. And we hope to have a GeForce RTX 2080 super card in very soon, and we'll circle back on performance with that card as well. NVIDIA says RTX 2060 super and RTX 2070 super cards should be in market on July 9th with 2080 super cards arriving later in July. But regardless, make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review of both of these cards with tons more benchmark data across a number of game titles. Hit the link up in the top corner there and hit thumbs up and subscribe if you would to get notified when we go live with new product reviews, event coverage, or our always entertaining Two and a Half Geeks webcast. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.